Welcome back to part two of our tutorial on building and optimizing a digital skills matrix in Microsoft 365. In part one, we focused on creating the skills matrix in Microsoft lists, setting up the data structure, and ensuring all the relevant information was captured efficiently. We used the example of a factus company, Evergreen Renewable Energy, and the manager of their maintenance team, Grady. We'll continue with this example as we move forward. Now, it's time to take that data and transform it into a visually engaging and insightful report using Power BI. In this session, we'll walk through how to display skills metrics data in Power BI, ensuring it's both efficient and visually appealing. We'll cover techniques to enhance readability, improve data representation, and even integrate profile images to make the report more interactive and user-friendly. By following along with this video, you'll be able to build the skills matrix yourself in Power BI step by step. But if you prefer, I've also published a Skills Matrix Power BI application, very similar to what we're building here, that you can download for free from the Microsoft Store. You will find the link in description below. Once we have the data properly visualized, we'll move on to part three, where we'll focus on automating updates, keeping the Skills Matrix current without manual intervention. And finally, in part four, we'll take things to the next level by integrating Copilot and generative AI capabilities, allowing the Skills Matrix to provide intelligent insights and recommendations. By the end of this tutorial series, you'll have a fully interactive AI-enhanced skills matrix, making it easier than ever to track and develop team capabilities. Let's dive into part two and bring our data to life in Power BI. Now, let's bring this data into Power BI. Download and open Power BI Desktop. Start a blank report. Click Get Data, then click on More. Search for SharePoint Online List and select it. Enter the SharePoint URL from HTTP up to our list, Click OK to load the available list, select the skills matrix and click load. Once loaded, navigate to table view to verify the data and extract technician names. In our data set, technician names are stored as lists. We need to extract only the names for proper visualization. Click on edit query. In the query editor, locate the technician name column, click expand and select and you can see a few data points available there. The technician name, job title, email, and even picture. In this case, we want to retrieve the name only, so we will add a custom column. We will name it and insert the field we need here. Little trick here, as the data is a list, we will add index zero just before title. Click close and apply to save changes. To improve visualization, we will represent skill levels with numerical values, and we will insert a table with the schema we will use from level zeros. Not trained up to level three, can coach others. Additionally, we will add a table to describe all the skills of our skills matrix, so people have no doubt on the expected competencies behind those skills, like what the wind turbine maintenance is. We will now add those two supporting tables. Click Get Data, Excel Workbook. Select the file containing both tables. Click Open and Load. Finally, let's rename those tables. In Model View, Power BI automatically detects relationships between tables based on shared fields. Skills. Name links the skills matrix and skills table. Skill level links the skills matrix and ratings table. To ensure both relationships work in both directions, click on the relationship line. Change it to both under cross filter direction. Click Apply. Next steps. Now that the data is structured correctly, we can move on to creating visualizations in Power BI. To make our Power BI a bit nicer, let's create a simple background in PowerPoint that we will insert in Power BI. We will have two sections, one for skills names, one for employee, technician names. We will also add a filter icon space for future custom elements, such as a company logo or an image. So let's save our slide as an image. In Power BI, go to Canvas Background and set the saved image as the background. This ensures that all visual elements are aligned properly. Now, to build skills matrix, insert a matrix visual and map the data. In rows, add skills name, and in columns, add technician names. In values, you want to display your colleagues' skill levels. Now, instead of displaying raw skill levels, we use a table rating to convert them into a professional rating format using conditional formatting. Initially, the matrix may count ratings instead of displaying values correctly. Change the aggregation to maximum value to ensure each skill level is correctly represented. Now it is time to format the matrix for better readability. Start by removing default background. Navigate to general effects and remove the matrix background. Go then to visual layout and set it to none for a clean look. 
Adjusting column and row headers increase the column header size for better visibility. Adjust row heights to improve readability and center values. By default, values may be left aligned. Navigate to column specific settings and align values to the center. Now you are ready to enhancing visualization with conditional formatting. Apply color coding to visually represent skill levels. Low skill levels, red medium skill levels, yellow high skill levels. Green ensure the gradient effect makes it easy to distinguish different skill levels at a glance. Finally, resize headers and fonts to maintain a professional look. Test alignment and overall readability and confirm that the values are displaying correctly based on imported data. Now the basic Power BI skills matrix is ready. There is a lot of red in this skills matrix, so we will update our database Microsoft list before continuing. Now that our skills matrix has been updated, one of the first thing we could do to bring it to the next level is adding tooltips for enhanced data representation in Poro BI. To make the skills matrix more informative, we will add tooltips that display skill descriptions and levels when hovering over a value. To create a tooltip, add a new page in Power BI and format it as a tooltip. To ensure a structured design, use a custom background for the tooltip as well. Set this background as the tooltips canvas. Here we will add three sections to display, the skill ratings, skill levels, and skill description. Insert shapes for each section and label them accordingly. For our rating visual, we will use a custom visual with stars that we will download from Power BI Custom Visuals. I can adapt this visual to whatever works best for you. Now that we have added the custom rating visual, Let's set its maximum value. Our skills matrix goes from 0 to 3, so let's reflect that in settings to align with our skills levels. Adjust the colors of the stars if you need, remove its background to fit nicely with the background you developed in PowerPoint. Finally, do your best to adjust the size of the visual to fit well in the overall tooltip. Then, add a card visual and set it to display skill level. Choose your font and size to occupy the space as much as possible. Adjust the font size and remove unnecessary backgrounds. Then, duplicate the card visual and set it to display skills description. Finally, test your tooltip with your skills matrix data and adapt the tooltip accordingly if some of the data don't render as expected. You can then name the tooltip page, e.g. skill tooltip, and enable the tooltip by navigating to general tooltip and selecting the tooltip page. Test by hovering over a matrix value. It should now display the rating, level and description dynamically. Final adjustments. Reduce font size for better readability. Ensure all values fit within the tooltip layout. Align text and visuals for a polished appearance. Now the tooltip is fully functional, providing additional context when hovering over skill levels. To enhance interactivity, we will add slices that allow users to filter the skills matrix based on different criteria. So, how to create a slicer panel? Add a shape as a background container for the slices. Adjust the size and color of the shape to fit the design. Add a slicer and assign a filtering field, such as skill level. Then start formatting the slicer. Remove the background. Adjust the height and width for a clean layout. You can then start adding multiple filters and duplicating the slicer for additional filters, such as technician name, skills name, and last evaluation date. Finally, arrange the slicers evenly and ensure proper spacing for readability. So let's add a toggle button for the slicer panel to improve user experience that will allow users to show or hide the slicer panel. Insert a button and label it X to close the panel. Format it, remove the border, increase the font size, align it properly within the panel. Now in the selection panel, group and name elements. Select all slices and the background shape. Group them together under slicer filter panel. Ensure the panel can be hidden or displayed as needed. To open-close the filter, we will use a bookmark. Open the View tab and select Bookmarks. 
create two bookmarks. Slicer open shows the slicer panel. Slicer closed hides the slicer panel. Assign the bookmarks to the toggle button. Click action knows assigned bookmarks. Select slicer open for the open button. Select slicer closed for the close button. Now let's test that. Clicking the open button should display the slicer panel. Clicking the close button should hide the slicer panel. Now we have an interactive filtering system that allows users to refine the skills matrix view dynamically. To enhance the user experience, we will add an information button that displays details about skill names and descriptions when clicked. So let's insert a shape to serve as the background for the information panel. Position it at the center of the page and adjust the size. Change the background color for better visibility. Now let's add a table for skills information. Insert a table visual on top of the shape. Set it to display. Skill name and skill description form at the table and remove the background. Increase the column header's font size for readability. Adjust the font size of values accordingly. Now we will add a close button. Insert a button labeled X to allow users to close the information panel. Format it. Remove the border. Increase the font size. Align it at the top corner of the panel. Group the elements. Select the shape, table, and close button. Group them under skill info panel. Hide the panel by default. It is time now to create a toggle buttons for open to close actions. Insert an information button labeled info. Open the view tab and select bookmarks. Create two bookmarks, info open that displays the skill info panel, info closed that hides the panel. You can now assign bookmark actions to buttons, click action and assign bookmark. Select info open for the open button, select info closed for the close button and start testing the functionalities. By clicking the info button, the skill descriptions panel should open. Similarly, clicking the close button should hide it. Now, users can easily access detailed information about each skill with a single click. Instead of displaying technician names, we will enhance the skills matrix visualization by using profile images from the SharePoint list. In SharePoint, each technician's record contains a profile image. To extract and display these images in Power BI, we first need to open transform data in Power BI. From there, we locate the technician name column, expand the list to reveal record details, and extract the picture field associated with each technician. Now, we need to create a custom column in Power Query to store these images. We'll name it Profile Picture and use the following formula to extract the image. Technician name, picture. After applying this formula, we click OK and we should see the images appearing in the column. Next, we need to ensure that Power BI recognizes this column as an image. In the data model, we select the Profile Picture column and change the data category to Image URL. Once this is set, the images will display correctly in the Power BI report. Now let's integrate these images into the skills matrix visualization. Instead of using the technician name field, we replace it with the profile picture column. At this stage, we check to make sure the images are displayed correctly and adjust column size and alignment for a clean and professional look. One important thing to keep in mind is that in Power BI desktop, the images may not appear due to permission restrictions. To ensure full functionality, we publish the report to Power BI service. This allows the images to be properly displayed, provided that users have the necessary permissions to access them. With these changes, the skills matrix now presents technician images instead of names, making the report more visually engaging and easier to interpret. So, there you have it. Grady, Evergreen Renewable Energy's maintenance manager, has built a very appealing skills matrix using Power BI to enhance his team's competencies data from Microsoft List. Now, he can track the competencies of his technicians, identify training needs and assign the right people to the right tasks. And this is part two done. In the next video, we'll look at how to automate the skills metrics updates using Power Automate so the data stays up to date without manual input and in sync with the team's training plan. Finally, we will add a bit of Copilot magic to the skills matrix and see how Copilot Studio can help us extend Copilot with our skills matrix data. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips on digital lean management. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or ideas for future topics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.